Thanks for the support as a channel member, Richard Blythe. It's FA Cup final day, boys and girls. I know there's going to be at least 10 of you down in the comments. You say, Kev, why aren't you wearing a suit? So I'll just say again, I don't own a suit. suit suits are expensive. And I spent all my money on lighting for behind me. Hello and welcome to part 127 of Born Again. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, we have the FA Cup final against Norwich. An FA Cup that neither of us have ever won before. Uh, we have one final under our belts. Norwich have two. Neither of us have ever won it. We finished 10th. Norwich finished 11th. Um, how did we get on against them in the league this year? We beat them 3-0 at home. And in the away game against Norwich, we lost 2-0. We are very evenly matched, these two teams. And of course, they're the team that we spent a lot of money signing Arango from in the summer. So we basically financed their transfers this year as well by spending far too much money on their right back. But we are going into this game as close to injury-free as we can be, bearing in mind the injuries that we already had. Zimmerman's still out, Cook's still out, but everyone else is available. As you can see as well, there's more and more of these wanted signs starting to appear as the uh, as the, the monsters of European football start to realise that we're not going to be playing in Europe this coming year and some of our players might want to leave. So Diaz wanted by Arsenal to Silva by Man United. <laughs> Mira by Burnley, bless him. I don't think we need to worry about him leaving. Serna Jackie by Paris Saint-Germain. Gomez by Tottenham. It's going to be a challenging summer, but we'll worry about that next week. For now, we want to win the FA Cup and see if it leads to a European qualification spot. If it does, this might not be a problem. But as we've said many times before, I think there is an error in the database that means we won't get into Europe. But I guess we're about to find out. We're going with Mazzinho in goal. A back four of Regulus, De Silva, Diaz and Arango. Sami into a mirror in midfield. Ricardo, Ariel and Serna Jackie behind Gomez up front. We're looking for a return to form for Serna Jackie today, who hasn't yet had a good game since returning from his injury. He's only played three times, to be fair to him. But he's, uh, he's pretty close to match fit now. Well, in fact, he is match fit. 98% match fitness. Today would be a good day to uh, to get back to his best and give us the Cerner Jackie final in the FA Cup. Um, of course, as this is a final, it will be going out as a, a YouTube premiere. So those of you who are watching live, hello in the chat. How are you doing? If you enjoy being part of a chat, we do chat over on Twitch four times a week. Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday, 8pm, twitch.tv slash Lelujo. All that fun you're having in the chat, you can have that fun even more often. And if you're watching this on one of the video on demand things... We've got VODs on Twitch as well, so you can watch that stuff if you can't go and watch them live. It's it's a magical place. It's a wonderful place to hang out. Let's get into the FA Cup final. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, talking of Twitch, I will stop in a minute. The last FA Cup final I played in, I lost. It was with home on Twitch against Manchester City, and it was very sad. Right, let's hopefully... In fact, the last three FA Cup finals I've played in, I've lost. I think I don't remember the last time I won this competition. I expect you to keep our run going and win this match. We've not talked about winning the Cup, but we have talked about winning the match because we should be better than Norwich. We are, we are a better side than them. We've just had a difficult season with trying to get used to playing as many games as we have, learning rotation and not doing it very well and getting a lot of injuries. Gomez is in here. Christian Gomez to put us 1-0 up at Wembley and he doesn't. And it looks it looks packed out here. You can see the Bourne fans getting around to there and then the, all the shirts go yellow. So Serna Jackie with the corner can't find either Gomez or De Silva, which I think is who he was aiming for. Um, Ricardo plays it back to Sarmiento. Ariel now and the ball is given away and there's the former Norwich man Arango to, to just finish off any, any counter-attack that Norwich might have had silly little thoughts of. Arango put them in their place. 23 minutes gone, still nil-nil. We've edged possession, but that's really it. There's not been not been much to speak of in the way of in the way of shots, although we have had the one clear cut chance of the game so far, which was the one that fell to Gomez. Cerna Jackie is in behind here, though. Can he cut the ball back to Arango? He can. Arango to Gomez, who gets another opportunity. It's the second clear cut chance of the game to fall to Christian Gomez. I'm hoping he's just 
teasing us and getting ready to score a to score a great goal and not that he's bottling a final. We know how much Christian Gomez relishes big matches. They don't come much be- much bigger in English domestic football than the FA Cup final at Wembley. I just don't know if anyone's told him that because he's on a 6.4 at the moment and he might be thinking, ah, it's not Europe, who cares? But then we've been saying that about him in the Premier League all year and he scored more Premier League goals this year than he ever has before. Right, what do we do? What do we do? I'm, you know what? I'm going to risk it and go, I'm not happy with your performance. That's fired them up. We're better than this. We need to go out there in this second half and win the football match. We've had enough... We've had enough bottling this season. Let's get out there and show everyone how good we are and set ourselves up for for next season. We started this season by winning a game at Wembley and picking up a trophy, the big one, the McDonald's Community Shield. It would be nice to bookend the season with two Wembley wins and two trophies. Diaz with the throw, Gomez with the flick on, but there's no one there to pick up his scraps. And I kind of think it could have been the other way around there with with uh, De Silva flicking on for Gomez because De Silva was lurking in there as well. Serna Jackie, a poor touch from Serna Jackie puts us in a little bit of trouble here. And I, I mean, I'm not worried about him yet. He's still not had a good game since coming back from injury. He needs a pre-season under his belt. He was out for a long time. Hopefully we'll see the old Serna Jackie back again next year. But the, the longer his poor form goes on, the more I the more I wonder if we should accept an offer for him this summer if one comes in because I've not seen any evidence yet that he's the player he was before he was injured. I know this is a weird thing to do in an FA Cup final, but if we have a look at his progress over the last what's this, the last year, um obviously that's star rating, so that read into that what you will, but it's the attributes that can we can we narrow this down to it's his physical ones I'm particularly worried about. So his agility has gone down. Jumping reach I'm less worried about, but I don't know. It doesn't actually seem like he's been affected that much. His strength's gone down quite a lot. His stamina's dropped massively. Mm, I think he'll be fine. But we are probably going to take him off. Are we going to take him off? Mm. I want to get Ricardo off. But I think I'm going to bring Gervin on, who has had a good season. And then he got an injury as well. So I think he deserves the opportunity to go out there and try and grab us a goal. In fact, I'm going to swap Gervin and Janino around, stick Gervin up front and have Janino out on that left wing. Because Gervin's been... I think Gervin's a more dangerous striker. Right, for my final change, we are going to take off Serna Jackie, bring on Bellico. We've, I mean, looking at it on paper, we've massively weakened our attack with those three changes. But we might just be showing the world a little sign of the future. Bellico now plays it across. Janino nods down to Ariel. And there's a goal in the 81st minute of the FA Cup final. It's Norwich nil, Bourne 1. What an important goal that is. The Brazilians connecting together. It's Bellico with the cross. Janino, of all people, nods it down. And Ariel just appeared from nowhere to leather it into the bottom corner. And that is an, that's a, that's an important goal. Goodness me. I didn't realise how much I wanted to win this FA Cup. Bellico with the free kick to Silvers there. And it goes just over from the free kick. There's minutes left on the clock. And that is it. Gervin's nervous. I'm more nervous than you are. But we've won the FA Cup. Lovely stuff. A double trophy season. What more could you possibly want? <laughs> a decent league finish. Champions League win. Yeah, I, I know. I get it. I was I was here all season two. Uh, congratulations. Enjoy these moments. They're what every footballer dreams of. They are. And the real icing on the cake now would be to find out that we get into Europe after all and that there wasn't the error in the database. But I suspect we're not going to get that little boost. Um, but we did get some money, which is nice. The board are happy, which is nice. Um, I got a message through the inbox between the end of the season and the FA Cup final saying the board were happy that I'd achieved one of our long-term goals ahead of schedule. Um, I achieved a top-half National League finish ahead of schedule, which I thought was nice. Nice of them to acknowledge that as we're finishing the top half of the Premier League. Um, does it confirm? No, see, we're not in Europe. 
never mind, eh? We go next year with no European football to faff around with, an FA Cup win under our belts, and hopefully we can keep our team together in the transfer special on Monday and really go for it and try and properly challenge for the Premier League next year. That's got to be the plan. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.